I haven't always given back to the LGBT community at, at a long time. Um, I wanted to be a successful coach that happened to be gay um, and not the gay coach that is successful. 20 years. That's how long it took for Kurt Miller to be comfortable in his own skin. And comfort came. The moment that I stopped worrying um, that um, there was a next step for me. You know, I always was fearful. Um, I was a very successful mid-major college coach, but could I get to a Power Five conference? Well, he skipped the Power Five conference and went straight to the WNBA. My background speaks for itself, and I don't feel like I have to hide who I am to have success. Um, it was always a part of me, and I want to give back now. Kurt Miller has always been true to himself, but he still spent most of his career showing his true colors only to the people closest to him. My life has been interesting. People would be shocked. I've never been to a pride parade. I've never lived in a big city, so I've never been around some of the, the nightlife that that our community at times is connected to. The Connecticut Sun's annual Pride Night helps Miller connect with the LGBTQ community, which is why he says the WNBA is the best organization to help him break out of his shell. And the wonderful athletes that make up the 12 teams and the 144 players in the league are such a diverse group, and uh, I'm just really fortunate to work in a league that takes so much pride in it. So yes, as Miller starts to accept himself, he's also busy creating a comfortable environment for his team. I think that's the role as a coach, you know. They don't always need you, but when they do, you better have, you know, some answers and, and be there for them. NBC Connecticut Sports, Molly Levine.